Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the LT-38, uh, a tank that's been in game for a long, long time as the Panzer 38T on the German lines. Uh, even though it's been a long time since I played the 38T, I was expecting more of the same, and I was kind of disappointed when I first got this tank because this tank lacks a lot of the engine power the German version of the tank has, um, which means it's a lot sluggish, or a lot more slow, uh, slower and sluggish than I was expecting it to be. It feels like a slow sluggish medium tank as opposed to a light tank and it's the last of the Czechoslovakian light tanks before we move on to medium tanks at tier 4 so that was a little bit of a disappointment um, the armor is pretty poor you've only got 25 millimeters of frontal turret or hull armor 15 millimeters of side armor so um, yeah auto loaders are going to be causing you some problems uh, it's a tier 3 it will see tier 5s but uh, I mean slow sluggish poor armor but it does have some strengths uh, the tank has 10 degrees of gun depression which is very very good and the final turret has 50 millimeters of frontal turret armor so great gun depression and very good frontal turret armor for its tier means that the tank is maybe a little bit more flexible than uh, it, you would believe when you first start playing it um, the gun is also very very good uh, you get 82 millimeters of penetration which is extremely good at tier 3 uh, 40 damage which is pretty standard alpha damage maybe even a little bit on the low side but it's an autoloader and you get to fire three shots. You can offload three shots in just two seconds and the reload with equipment accrue skills for the autoloader is about four and a half approaching five seconds so very very good damage you can do 120 damage average damage if you hit and pen all your shots and do the same thing again just four and a half to five seconds later so it's got good burst damage and it's got a very quick reload great gun depression good frontal turret armor but that's pretty much it the view range is only about 310 meters which is okay for the tier but not great uh, but other than that as I say that the tank was a little bit of a disappointment um, it did take quite a few games to ace the tank I'm sorry to say but thankfully it's done it's sold and we've moved on to tier 4 anyway we are here on Malinovka in a pretty much an all tier 3 game technically it's a tier 4 game we have two tier 4s the enemy team only have one tier 4 but it's an RT every other tank in the game is tier 3 so pretty good matchup for the uh, LT38 uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to move down to the bushes down at uh, C6. And as I say, the, the biggest strengths of this tank are its gun depression turret armor. So that's what I want to be using down here. And then uh, hopefully its burst damage. Now while the gun fires incredibly quickly, three shots in just two seconds with a four and a half second reload, the downside is the accuracy and aim time are not amazing on the gun unfortunately accuracy and uh, aim time are quite poor but uh, we've moved up we've let our binox kick in you can see I'm using binox and camo net because it is a light tank get our first shot in bounce on a d2 and get another shot in so a d2 very very good armor frontally but when he gives me his side quite easy to go through with this tank you can see first shot goes low and the next two shots miss the target. May have hit another tank in the way, I am not quite sure, but we're just continuing to go. You can see the shell velocity is okay. So uh, we're just picking up damage where and when we can. So there's a D2 and you can see I'm adjusting. One, two, three. And you can see how quick the reload is here. Bounce. And we finish him off for uh, kill number one. So up to 308 damage. The enemy team haven't sent that many tanks up the hill, uh, so we're just looking for targets of opportunity. Long distance shots here. Uh, mistime that one. Get one in, and get another one in before he disappears. So yeah, I mean the gun is very good on this tank. The problem is the speed and mobility. Uh, it can cause problems when you're trying to get into position to be able to use that gun, but uh, we know that there are two tanks camping down amongst the buildings along the J-Line, three tanks spotted on the hill, and a lot of the enemy team have yet to be spotted, so I'm pushing forward and you can see the acceleration and the speed of the tank. Big disappointment. Struggling to get over 25 kilometers an hour here. So once again, using our gun depression, gonna try and stay hull down. And I'm gonna let my Binox kick in, see if we spot anything. Nope, not spotting anything. I was going for shots on the tank over on the other side, but he disappears. 
So once again, pushing forward. And I'm going to try and use these bushes directly in front of me. There's a tall D3 moving up as well, but uh, I'm hoping I pick up some spots. Oh, and here we go. We just spotted a lot of tanks. So waiting till the bushes go solid, reverse, and we can start putting in shots. So get two shots in, bounce one. You can see how quick the reload is on the autoloader. Go for a blind kill, take him out. Push forward again to see if we can spot the uh, Panzer 1C. And that's when a UE appears, spots me. Again, I've got a pretty poor crew on this, but the Taldi hits me, LT-38 hits me, UE dies, and I've just lost all my health, lost my commander, had to get out of there in a hurry. Uh, yeah, so things were very, very comfortable, and in a split second, things have gone from full health and very comfortable to losing a, rip, uh, a first aid kit down to a one-hit kill, 26 hit points. Yeah. So as you can see, I play a lot of these low tiers with a brand new crew and it's 75% crew. But uh, Taldi's on full health, I kind of want him to push, but I'm going to see if we can move up here, use this wreck of the medium 3 to uh, give me some cover. Yep, I'm going to try and pop up, use my gun depression while they're focused on the Taldi. One shot, miss, another shot in, got to fall back before they start shooting me. I get away with it. You can see I'm using the gun depression here. Both enemy tanks are trying to be die. So two shots and a, two blind shots and an M37. Uh, someone else has killed him. So yeah, just one tank left on the enemy team. So we're on 570 damage. Almost a big disaster. Almost died, but two kills, 570 damage. Must be a lot of people playing this tank because again, I was quite surprised. It did take me quite a few games to get the ace, but when it did come, I'm very, very surprised. It didn't require more damage. But uh, just one enemy tank left, it's the T-46, we're doing our 40, well, we're not even getting to 40 kilometers an hour here. As I say, speed and mobility of this tank were a big letdown, I was expecting it to be a lot like the Panzer 30 AT for the Germans, but final tank spotted, aim, 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 aim. You can see how poor the aim time is, we bounce, get one shot in, and he gets taken out before we can nick another kill. But uh, there we go, first ace in the uh, LTVZ-38. So we picked up an ace, we also picked up a Spartan medal for bouncing a Panzer 1C at the very, very end while we're on low health. Uh, 725 XP, and not amazing, but it's a tier 3. I mean, I suppose that's okay for a tier 3. 644 damage done, 2 kills. Not an amazing game, uh, just playing the tank or trying to play the tank to its strengths, and uh, quite surprised it turned into an ace, but uh, happy. Sold it, moved on. Uh, 30 shots fired, 21 hits, 16 penetrations. So the penetration on the gun is good. I just the accuracy and aim time a little bit lacking compared to the uh, rate of fire, the reload time between shots. Uh, the aim time doesn't match it very well. Uh, we received six uh, hits and were penned four times. So other than the frontal turret armor, this tank is absolutely no armor. You've got to try and stay hull down, got to try and use your gun depression. Um, so we spotted seven uh, because of the binox. We uh, damaged seven, destroyed two, did 385 assistance damage on top of our 644 and we finished up with 18 and a half thousand credits with a uh, premium account. It wasn't my first game of the day. I sat down to play some games of the tank in order to try and get the ace and we finished up with uh, just over a thousand XP. But uh, yeah, LT VZ38, absolutely no reason to keep this tank. It's got a good gun. It can be very, you know, the gun can be fun to use, but I just don't think the tank it's mounted on is very, very good. Uh, as I say, it does have some strengths, but uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping some of the later tier Czechoslovakian tanks are better because uh, I've just been disappointed with all the low tiers so far. But uh, anyway, we've moved on to tier four. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.